Hello everybody and welcome to my let's play of Paranautical Activity. Paranautical Activity is a an early access game on Steam. It can be bought for 9 euro. I will just start the game up and I'm gonna explain everything as we go. So you can see there's a lot of different characters that we can choose from. They all have different weapons and different stats here. We're just gonna take the tank because he has a lot of health and is a, you know, one of the easier characters in my opinion and then I can explain more easily so, uh, Paranet Activity story wise there's not much to tell we are on a Nazi ghost ship there's demons and we wanna survive so that's it <laughs> so, I mean, this is still early access so this might still be expanded in the full release I don't know um, so this game is a roguelike, much like The Binding of Isaac. That means that we have these floors made up of rooms like this one. We will fight some enemies, pick up some loot and we will eventually find a boss room. The boss is gonna guard the entrance to the next floor and we want to continue to the next floor as until we either you know, die or finish the game. Um, should we die we have to start from the beginning and do it all over again. The floors and the rooms and the layouts are randomized each time, also the bosses and the items you can get. Um, items you can get from the shop or from bosses and they hopefully make you stronger. Strong enough to actually keep up with the increasing difficulty because each floor is gonna get more and more difficult. Um, yeah, so it sounds a lot like The Binding of Isaac, it is quite similar. The most obvious difference of course is that this is a first person shooter where The Binding of Isaac is like a top down twin stick shooter. Um, okay. um, our hut, in the lower left you can see the, the thing with the red pixelated hut is our health. If that drops to zero, we die. You know. Not much surprise there. The white thing with the blue cross next to it is shields. So we can pick up shields to to get health above our max HP. Uh, in the middle we have our little mini-map, which shows us the layout of the floor and where all these special rooms are. I will explain what those icons mean in a second. Please die. So yeah, the, the green thing is the shop where we can use the money that's lying around here and we're picking up to buy upgrades. The blue thing with the skull is a mini boss room where we can fight a, a boss and get an item for it. And the thing with the red pentagram is actually the, the real boss of the floor where we can proceed to the next floor. Okay, he's... he's White shots are homing shots, so you have to watch out for those. I really like to kill you, so there's only the boss left. Yeah. So did I forget anything? Yeah. Uh, right next to our mini map are 14. Well, it says 14. Those are th those are our bombs. More powerful bombs. Right on cue. Um, Slow mo, yeah, sure, gonna pick that up. Um, we can throw bombs at enemies to deal damage, <laughs> shouldn't be too surprising. And right next to it is our money, and to the right of that is a so called power up, I think it's called in this game. Those are essentially uh, one time use items. The one we have right here will slow the enemies, and yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Rabbits. Foot, fool, whatever that is, rage. Yeah, so the items, they are not very descriptive. I mean, some of them are. Like, rage means that you get more damage the more enemies you kill in a room. But, you know, part of the game is figuring out what kind of items there are and what they do. And yeah. I don't know all of the items and their effects. I haven't played this game as long as I've played Isaac. So I 
cannot tell you, but you know, we'll figure everything out together. Basically, if you are interested. So, our first boss. I also, I'm sorry, but I can't uh, tell you the names of all of these bosses. This is like the flying eye that splits up, and shoots a lot. Not too difficult. Uh, he should be dead momentarily. Okay, there's something up here. Hot feet. I still. That's one of the power-ups, and I have no idea what they what they do, what it does. Um, the another slow mo, and I would like to pick this up. Yeah, nice, got it. Because that's actually uh, an item that f heals us completely. So if we're down to one health, that will heal us back up to nine, bring us back up to nine health. So, got that sentence out. Would really have like to buy the fool, whatever it does. Could buy rage. Oh, will buy rage. At least some damage upgrade. Synergizes very well with bombs because you can just throw a bomb into the middle of the room and then you have some some damage. Oh, okay. Almost forgot the item from the boss, the double jump, which is actually a very good item because it helps with maneuver maneuverability. A great deal. And that will help us not take so much damage. And that's always good. So I'm just checking if I can see some special door from here. It seems I can't. Okay. So yeah, with each floor it's gonna get harder. And we are gonna see new enemies. Like these ninjas here that throw these shurikens. And we're eventually also gonna see some some traps in the rooms, like a floor made of lava, where we have to watch where he is stepping. Okay. Should have not forgotten about the ninjas. Because they can easily sneak up behind you and scare the shit out of you. <laughs> um, okay, so found our boss and the shop immediately. I'm not sure if I want to fight the boss right away. Bucket of tar, spinach, and the iron heart. Hmm, iron heart 750. I'm not. I don't think I will get enough money for that. That seems reasonable though. Whatever it does, bucket of tar, maybe slow enemies when hitting them, that could be useful. If it does that, I don't know. So yeah, let's let's explore the rest of the floor first. And keep the boss for the end. Okay, that was nice dodging. Yeah. <coughs> so, so far so good. Um, yeah. At the beginning of the uh, the stream you s have seen that there are multiple characters. Those characters have different starting weapons, dif uh, different amounts of starting health, speed and whatnot. So not only is the game randomized each time, you can also get a different starting character. So definitely a lot of replayability, we're taking an awful lot of damage here. And I think it's because of these little ones actually. Because they are shooting me all the time when I don't want them to. Hitting him from this distance with a shotgun is not as easy as you might think. <laughs> so what do we have here? Increased super weapon charge. Yeah, super weapons, I almost forgot about that. Super weapons is to the left of our health, where it says oh, 120 now. Uh, we can have a super weapon. We don't have one yet, but we could pick one up and then we have a second weapon, which usually deals a bit more damage than your, your standard weapons. But you have limited ammo for that, so can't use it all the time. Watch out for the elevator so you don't get stuck! That was close. Just 
keep going in circles and shoot him in the face and we should be fine. So, on the next wall there should be the elevator again. Okay. Going very nice so far. Only those three buffs or whatever they are. And they are dead. So, Lava, I think I remember what this one does. It gives us more HP but also slows us down. Um, so the slowdown could be really problematic. Let's check here because there's some health left. And I think we can buy the the tar bucket. Or what what was it called? Bucket of tar, yes. Full ammo. Bam. So I was thinking if that slows enemies down when we shoot them, we could take the the slowdown. I think I'm gonna leave it. Yeah. Because there's gonna be a lot of enemies starting on the next floor, I think, that really rush at us and just hunt us down. And the decreased speed will really hurt us in the long run, I think. So this should be an easy mini boss fight, I think. Okay, he's actually gaining us. Just strafe jump away and. We're good to go. Good. More armor and the rabbit foot. More power up drops. That's nice. Uh, didn't really use them up until now, but that's gonna change. I can assure you. Okay, get out of this corridor because those jumping frogs are gonna explode themselves. There's another one up above. If you could die, please, that would be great. Should probably shoot at him because he's closer. And it's easier to deal damage to him. Good! So far, so very good. I'm really happy with how this is going. I made a <laughs> practice run before this, for recording this, and I was stressed out a lot more than I am now. So that's good. And we have our boss room again. Oh wow, what a jump! <laughs> Shot for the homing shots. I had a lot of trouble with the homing shots on my first time playing this, but an easy trick is to just stay close to the walls. So when they go past you, they hit the wall and they're gone, because those shots really curve like curve to you like crazy. And yeah, they will hit you in the back if you stand, if you dodge them in the middle of the room. So here's an example of the traps that are already starting, a pendulum that will deal damage to us. It will also deal damage to the enemies, so that's fair. <laughs> but you know, we gotta watch out. And here we have the uh, a lava floor room, as mentioned earlier. So, really, the double jump ha helps a lot in this room. Okay, pendulum swinging right in the direction of my face. Never a nice feeling. And there's another moth. So let's go up the stairs and kill him. Pick up all the money. Again, gonna save the boss for the for last. Maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, let, let's fight him right away, we have full health. Okay. He's... I think I remember him, he doesn't have too many moves. He will only shoot this damn fish at us that I don't know how to avoid. Mm, let's hope we can kill him before he does too much damage to us. Can I shoot them maybe? Is that how I'm supposed to not take damage on him? I'm not sure yet. We'll figure it out sometime. So, and he drops uh, the trident, which is an alternate weapon. But I don't really like it 
too much. I think it does a, a ton of damage if you hit someone with it, but you always have to go and pick it up again after you've thrown it, and that can be really tedious, especially if you miss the first shot. So I think I'm gonna stick with the shotgun, which is not the best weapon in terms of damage, but it's reliable. I like reliable. So, wow, that was not nice. He spawned right into our face. And I shot him right away. So I guess I should just have not shot, basically. But that's like not the first instinct <laughs> I have when going into a new room <laughs> to not shoot enemies. Okay, yeah, there was a more fire. He was hiding behind the little light here. So we have... We don't have very much money actually. Don't know what's up with that. Okay, didn't get hit. That's the first. Usually I take one or two hits on these rooms. That's... I think that's a power up again. It makes us invincible for a short amount of time. But I like our full health. Can of beans. And scissors and the fool again. So we're gonna need at least 300 to buy something. Let's see if we can earn that money. It's a little tight corridor to be fighting. Okay, that guy jumped right into the pendul pendulum, which is a okay by me. Homing shots which means hug the wall for me. At least that's my strategy for dealing with it. I don't know if there's something better. The fact that the doors didn't open shows us that there's still another enemy somewhere. And there he is. Good. There's still money left. Yeah, so as mentioned, this game is still in early access, so there might be some features added before the game comes out or is released fully. I have read that the developer wants to add some form of multiplayer, co-op I think, which could be a lot of fun actually, and I'm really looking forward to that. Kill you. really like more money. So if you could drop a bit more, that would be totally fine by me. Uh, let's check here. It seems like exactly the same room we fought mere moments ago. If you could stop shooting me from the side, I had a feeling you'd come from me, for me when I was looking away. So more shields, always nice. And there's not many rooms left, I think, so it seems like we're not gonna be able to buy something in the shop. Which is a shame. He's gone, no money. Oh well. Still doing okay, but I think we're gonna need some damage upgrades soon. Let's just go on. So yeah, this game really is similar to the, the Binding of Isaac, which you might have seen on my channel already, or on any other channel, for that matter. Um, I really want to do some more Isaac episodes as well, but two out of my three Isaac episodes so far have been content ID matched, because of the music in-game. Um, yeah, so that's not nice. Uh, try to sort that out before I upload more Isaac. I actually have some episodes recorded in my backlog, with one actually just, which I want to upload as soon as possible, but yeah, as said, I want to get the content ID matches so fixed, if that's possible, since I'm 
believe a lot of other Let's Players seem to be streaming the Banning of Isaac and I have not heard of them having any problems with content ID matches. So yeah, I hope it will be resolved easily and fast somewhat so we can have some more fun with that game as well. Whoa, so yeah, the rooms are starting to get a lot harder now. A lot more enemies. Good. Died. Let's see if we can't explode the barrel. Nice. And it seems like he's stuck. Good. We have found the uh, mini boss room. Or the yeah, the boss room here. That's just here to give us an item. We will actually take the Ark with us and use it on the on the boss here. And just get in his face and shoot him. And maybe kill the secondary monsters here. So we have an easier time of fighting him when we are no longer invincible. Okay, don't quite have the... Don't know how to f avoid him as well. The beard! Do more damage close up. That's a nice item. <laughs> don't know what that's a reference to. It could be Chuck Norris. I mean, there's too many cool dudes with beards. So, oh! Get out of my face, please. Who do those homing shots? <laughs> Where are they? Okay, gone. Good. Managed to get out of this without too much damage. But, you know, you see it's really starting to fall apart a bit. So we really need some upgrades now. We have left two boss items behind already because they were not really upgrades so that sucks of course and it's starting to show that was close <laughs> let's try to kill the guys shooting the homing shots first because they are definitely more annoying should get close up now with my damage increase <laughs> so that seems to be a good match for our shotgun. Yeah. I also uploaded uh, some Spelunky videos to my... No, some. It was just one until now. So I'm definitely gonna try to upload more different games. And this is also one one step into in this direction of playing more different games and not just the Binding of Isaac. So if you're interested in any particular game, just let me know in the comments. I'm thinking you know, I want to play this a bit more. Maybe depending on how you guys like it, I will play this a lot more. <laughs> I was thinking maybe do a let's play until we finish the game with each starting character. But as I said, just let me know how much you like the game and like watching me play it. And we'll see what, what we are gonna do! Okay, that was stupid. <laughs> Let's not try not to do that again. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> and suddenly a giant X in your face. <laughs> Hate it when that happens. Like Good way to start your day. Get away from the exploding one. And of this exploding one, took another one with him. That's good. And get in his face because we're stronger when we're close up. Nice. Hmm, well, let's go over here. Might as well explore the floor a bit more. Oh, 
Oh, wow. stick to the walls. <laughs> Just seen. The shots really curve around you. And suddenly there's a shot coming from the behind. And hitting you in the butt, which is never pleasant. Yeah. I mean, if you're into that kind of stuff, I'm not one to judge. But I generally don't like it. Oh well, let's get on. Didn't find the shop and we have a decent amount of money, I think. So should be able to buy something. What's the battery do? Ah, I think what that does is also give us ammo for our super weapon, which we don't have. So that was a waste. Okay, that was some nice dodging. I think... Okay, that was exceptionally poor. <laughs> and there's still one of these guys left. So, still no shop. But it can't be far now. Don't jump too high. I thought that would blow up some of the enemies. Okay, that did. That's good. Mm. Gotta watch yourself beneath these stairs because it's easy to get stuck. And, you know, standing still is usually not a good idea in this game. At least that's my, my experience with it so far. Could you please get away from me? Thank you. So, one of these left and we found our shop. Good. Mm, that's actually a very nice power-up that I'm gonna pick up and I'm going to use it on the boss. We will come back for this one when we're done. But this should help us take the boss out much more. So, damage up, speed down. So, now we have our speed down. Anchor fall faster, seems somewhat worthwhile. Not gonna pick up the bomb box, I think we have enough bombs. <laughs> So, uh, the lava, not a, not a nice place to be. Of course, he's right across the map. Get to the wall and jump like crazy. Okay, so only the boss left. Let's go to him and kill him. I'll try at least. So the speed down really is not too nice. I'm really sluggish now. Mm. So would love to get a speed up now. <laughs> That's definitely a concern. We've got some damage. So that should be sorted now. At least for a little while. Where am I going actually? I need to go in this direction. Got lost there for a bit. Oh, back on track. So, let's use the power up and kill whatever is in here. Oh, that dude is actually really annoying when you're so slow. But we're basically tearing him up <laughs> quite fast with our power up that makes us shoot ridiculously fast. <laughs> I really enjoy that. What's that? Increases health. Five free armor. Yeah. That's nice. Got some more defense, so that will keep us alive for a bit. But would really like the speed up, so we don't take so much damage. Well, I don't take so much damage. Can't blame you, <laughs> I guess, as much as I'd like. And let's pick up not you. Where was it? There was. There was a thing, it was next to the shop, I think I left it, the full health. Some health, might as well pick that up, and over here, so I'm sorry for taking so long, but I think the uh, full health power up, there it is, is really valuable, it would be quite dumb 
got to take it. So, let's get going to the next floor. I think this game has seven floors. So we're actually doing quite well, let's say. Yeah, one thing I haven't talked too much about yet is the graphics in the game. <laughs> uh, you know, it's going for the pixelated retro look, which works very nice in my opinion. It takes some getting used to it. Like at first I didn't like the graphic too much. Get out of the acid or whatever that is. And watch out for the damn monkeys. They are really annoying. Okay. That was no nice room, and those monkeys, they are gonna be a real pain to kill. Because they're just so fast and they can run on the on the ceiling and on the floor and they constantly jump from one to another. And whew, yeah, they are what usually stresses me out the most in this game. <laughs> Which is probably what the developer wanted <laughs> for those enemies. So yeah, nicely done. So yeah, you can see we are on the Nazi ghost ship. Oh yeah, the boss room. Almost forgot that this was the boss room. Giant jellyfish. He seems to have really low HP because we are tearing him up, him up really good. What's this? A crossbow. That's actually a starting weapon of another character and I still enjoy the shotgun a lot and we're gonna see the crossbow in another episode. So let's stick to the shotgun for now. Oh, this damn monkeys. So, already lost all the shields we've got from the last boss. The chainsaw weaving crazy dude, or whatever his name is. Let's call him Bob. Bob seems fine. There again is our fire ridiculously fast power up which I will remember to get before we go fight the boss because that really makes it so easy yeah yeah damn skeleton there's bound to be some monkeys yeah I knew it and we're starting to lose a lot of health and yeah without some more speed I don't see I can avoid that. Which is scary. Mm, you stay away from me, wherever you are. I think he's trapped under these stairs and I wanted him to keep uh, to keep him there basically. So he can clear out uh, the rest of the the room a bit more easily. Okay. Kill you. So the door is still closed and I fell right next to him. God damn it. It was going so well. Mm, okay. We again have a lot of money so a shop would be welcome as well. And if there's anything that somehow resembles a speed upgrade, it's a must buy. Oh! Please go away, monkey. And please don't shoot me. Jump for the arrow trap. I have to remember that I have this full health power up. So I have to pop it. Whoa! Before I die, which is basically now. Okay, oh, toss the bomb down. And stayed right next to it. Can't really recommend that. And now we... So there's a lot of power-ups here, but they are all offensive ones. Can pick that one up, and since there's another one, I can use that on any room. So let's get in here. And 
tear those guys up. Oh, come on. There's another monkey. And another skull. And you. There has to be something else left. Okay, it's a skull dude. Hanging out below us. Okay. That was good. Feels like I'm saying okay a lot. So, you know, feel free to make a drinking game out of it. And. Yeah. Let's just <laughs> go on. Still no shop, still no boss. Oh, that room looks like it's gonna be my end. Maybe. What? Okay, don't hug the enemy. That doesn't seem to work too good. And there's our monkey again. Three health. Four health. Get out of the way of his shots. Shouldn't be too bad. Good. Back to five health. That seems at least somewhat survivable. And we found our boss, but there's another one of these asshole rooms. But we're taking an awful lot of damage. So I will go back, get the uh, fire incredibly fast power up. But not before I take these shots right in the face. So that was probably not worth it. Picked up one shield, lost it immediately again. So use the power up to get back a bit faster. Okay, go over there. Um, where was it actually? Help me out a bit here. I think it was over here. There's another shoe and there it is. And let's make our way back to the boss. And we're slow again. So that was nice while it lasted. leave the floor immediately, if I manage to beat the boss, that is. But we have so much money, I should look for the uh, shop. No, no, let, let's see, let's let's fight the boss, see how that turns out. Okay, um, your hair is on fire, dude. Might want to check that out. So, he died fast. We got some health, so I feel somewhat comfortable. There's still homing shots. Phew. Damage up. Okay, so we're really dealing a lot of damage now. Major concern is defense. Now, so we're really killing the enemies very, very fast. Don't have to shoot them so often. Yeah, only thing I can complain about, oh, can want to complain about is the speed, which also makes it tedious to explore all the floors, because it's taking forever to get from one end of the map to the other. They are all deceased, so didn't lose too much of health in here gain the shield and there was the shop. So I'm not gonna explore the whole floor. Let's just get to the shop and then we're out of here. Mm. So this is going really good now. We can actually kill the monkeys reasonably fast. Maybe it's also my aiming that's a bit better now. I don't know. Probably is the damage. So, what do we have here? Super ammo boost. Since we don't have... Hmm, 750. We are so close. God damn it. I think I'm actually gonna explore a bit more since... That looks like maybe it increases our defense somehow. 
and 70 more coins seems somewhat realistic from a payout. I mean, there's only two rooms left that we see. L let's see how this one goes. Oh, of course, it's one of these acid rooms. So the monkey is... If I can just hit him when he's down there. Um, the explosions of the bombs actually hurt you through the through the floors and ceilings and walls. So yeah, that's why I didn't just toss the bomb down. Just in case you're wondering. So 700. We need 50 more for the Iron Heart. Since it's so damn expensive, I just hope it's really, really great. And that we actually have enough money to buy it. 713, getting there. Mm, that hit was unnecessary. 720. Mm. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed here. So let's actually buy the... Wait, where am I going? Let's buy the, the health box, or whatever that was called, the heart box, whatever, because that hopefully heals us a bit. And then we're on to the 6th floor, and I think there is 7. So yeah, we're close. We might actually do it. Health box, gives health, yeah. So back to 7 health. Was uh, expected a bit more healing, or hoped for a bit more healing, but... Beggars can't be choosers. And... Let's get to the next floor. So where's the damn elevator? Good! This is going exceptionally well. I was really expecting to be dead by now. But we're still alive and kicking and... We're kicking some butt. Okay, those guys. They are actually throwing bombs around the room. <laughs> which sometimes even makes the rooms easier because they tend to hit and kill their their demon friends so I don't mind those enemies so give me a lot of those anytime if you just take away the monkeys but it doesn't seem like that's gonna be in the car as far as just keep on going. So shouldn't jump too much in here. <laughs> so many arrows flowing around in another one of these rooms. Okay, just watch where I'm jumping. Okay, there's some health, thank god. 4 out of 11. Still scary. Maybe I should just uh, toss a bomb in there just for the fun of it. Get up close and shoot them in the face because we have this damage upgrade for up close shooting. Good! Free health again. <laughs> really need one uh, um, a room with upgrades and we need it sooner rather than later so we have found our boss room we have only two health left so that's a bit scary I don't know what's more scary fighting a boss or these monkeys there's actually the shops over there, so let's check that out first. If we manage to get there, just toss a bomb in there. We're one hit away from death, but we're alive. <laughs> we are alive, just barely, but... Yeah, all it takes is a wonderful item in here. 
We can buy everything, so... Increased health. Go back to free health. Sticky bombs. Um, since I don't think we're gonna gain a lot of health over the course of this floor, I'll try to fight the boss. Let's not get hit by the arrow. Let's just throw chuck a lot of bombs in there. Might as well use them. Watch out for these small spiders. Oh, there's actually a lot of them. Oh, that spider. <laughs> Got a sticky bomb stuck on its back and then walked right to me and blew me up. Well, we made it uh, to the sixth floor and to the boss. So that was nice was further than I expected. Yeah, we'll try again next time. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.